Hey folks, Corey Smith here. I just want to let you know my trip to Guatemala is official. 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 So why is this important to me and what's up with the whole Guatemala thing? Well, let's first take a dive into the what and then the why. Guatemala is located in Central America just below Mexico and is roughly the size of Pennsylvania. With a population of about 15.4 million, Guatemala comes in at about 2 million more than our Liberty Bell state. Despite severe economic and social hardships associated with violence, Guatemala's people are known as some of the friendliest on earth, never giving up their struggle and always thankful for what life provides. Guatemala continues to recover from its 36-year civil war, which ended about a decade ago. Yet the U.S. State Department still categorizes the violence level as critical. Annually, thousands attempt migration into Mexico. Of those left, 59% are under the poverty line, and over 23% living in extreme poverty. This has resulted in a severe impact on Guatemalan children most orphaned by violence and simple life-sustaining economics. The mother's mean age at first birth is 21.2 years old. Because international adoption is illegal in Guatemala due to current human trafficking issues, children are placed in overcrowded orphanages. Nearly one half of Guatemala's children under five are chronically malnourished, one of the highest malnutrition rates in the world. Some areas of Guatemala are known as the fourth world. Here families live in the Guatemala city dump, trying to keep safe from the violence. Children and adults alike scavenge for items of value and food to keep them afloat for another week. There are multiple documentaries about this subculture. If you haven't heard, just search for children living in the Guatemala city dump. Now, many don't care to hear these horrific challenges. And I was hesitant to surface them because I don't want to steer you away. But this isn't about me. These kids and the communities that support them need help so the children murder rate can decrease so these youth have a chance. You may ask, why not in the United States? Let's help our children first. Here's why. Love has no borders. These kids are in critical need, regardless of the location. That is what's important to me. While in Guatemala, we will be building and reinforcing existing shelters in the community and through a not-for-profit named Forever Changed International and its affiliation with a private orphanage named Dory's Promise, we will be working directly with these children, helping provide them hope and a sustainable future. Personally, my contribution will be providing sanitation wipes and soccer balls to continue the process that Dory's Promise has put in place. These items contribute to both sanitary conditions and physical activities to enhance the lives of these youth. We are looking to raise $600 to help these children. Here's my ask to donate to the FundMe account I've set up with a link at the bottom of this page. Soccer balls cost approximately $10 each and sanitation wipes about four cents each. A donation of $6 to $50 would be an amazing help. Realistically, what I'm asking for is the cost of one mocha, one margarita, or one cocktail. I will match all donations dollar for dollar. And together we can show the world that love has no borders. I thank you for listening and your valuable time.